Hello everyone, welcome back to another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial guys. This time I'm in Premiere Pro 2020 and I want to show you how to work with markers. This is very, very quick and the reason I want to show you is it allows you to keep yourself very organized. It allows you to make notes about future things that you need to do in your sequences and it's really, really easy to do. It's really, really quick. So let's just go ahead and do it. I've got some, some footage here of the new Segway dirt bike that's coming out uh, you'll see here and at some point in here I want to make a lower third like right here when the transition goes from uh, the video right to his eyeball so somewhere around here I want to make a transition here and I don't want to do it right now I'm gonna I'm just gonna mark it so that I, I know for future so in order to add a marker there's a couple ways to do it the one that you want to use the most is probably just pressing M when you press M, you are going to see that I've created this little green uh, arrowhead here at the top. This is now a marker, and if you were to if you were to drag your playhead around and hold Shift down, you'll notice that it snaps to it. So we've made a mark. So that's the first step. The second step, guys, is you can double click on that, and you'll notice that it opens up the marker panel here. So you can go ahead and name this. So I'm going to name this lower third. Actually, I'm going to name it the electric bike and lower third. I'll put in as the comments and you'll see here as well as being able to name it and leave some comments, you can change the color. So for lower thirds, let's just say I want to make all lower thirds red. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And we don't want to look at chapter markers or any of these kind of fancy things. Uh, they're not really any use right now. So if I was to left click on OK here, you'll notice that I've got a red marker and so we've changed the color and it has added in the information. You don't see it, but when I hover over top of it, you will see it says the electric bike. And then it says underneath that two minutes, two seconds, 20, two seconds, 22. It's at 222 and it's a lower third. Now, if I double click on this again, I want to show you one other thing that is very, very useful for markers. And that is you can adjust the duration. So let's say I want this lower third to be maybe three seconds long or four seconds long I don't even doesn't even matter let's go with four seconds you'll see here I've added a duration when I hit OK watch the watch the timeline here up here you'll see that I've gone ahead and created it and it's created this the duration and if I want to increase the length of it so let's say I want the lower third to be I don't know this many seconds long five seconds long you can go ahead in, in and make those changes so I've got this here and again, both of these pieces are snappable. So this is how you work with markers. If you have like a huge video, right, you can add in another marker. I'll just hit M again. And this time I'll make this marker orange and it'll be two, three seconds long. And bang, we've got another marker. That is how you work with markers in 2020, Premiere Pro 2020. The other last thing I'll show you, though I don't really use it this much, is if you were to load some footage up into the project panel up here, markers are also available in here. So if I wanted to move forward and then add a marker, you'll notice here that when I hover over this and I click it, if I press M, I can add markers there as well. So you can add markers here. I'll hit M again. And maybe at this point, I'll hit M again. And again, guys, we're adding markers. That's all there is to it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I got a ton more stuff coming up. Stay tuned.